give you that illusion? <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> this was before, when was that? Happened? Two summers ago. Two summers ago. It was ago. the summer after the Shalan fire. That's right. So I hadn't had this traumatic life experience yet that I told you all about. Um, but we had this class full of people, and there was five or six people at our tables. Joe and I were at different tables, and the group picked me to get up and introduce everybody and tell a story about it and whatnot. The reason I remember this is because afterwards, Joe came up to me and goes, wow, do you speak all the time? You're a really good speaker. I mean, he made these comments. I was like, no, um, just nothing. And you told me about Toastmasters. Hey. So, that's literally good why. Good job. Right on. Thank you. Then, just to rehash it tragically, my wife passed away shortly thereafter, um, which has made me uncomfortable at random times. This Saturday, Unbeknownst to me, I got called up on the podium in the convention center in front of 105 people and gave an impromptu speech for several minutes. Didn't bother me one bit, which is my goal, to always be like that. Okay. So sometimes, um, I, I'm here, Joe, because sometimes, and I don't know when the randomness of this is, is simply just sitting down in a meeting like this, and I have lots of these meetings, um, um, so work on that. The I, I get generally just uncomfortable, and I don't really know why. So, thanks for being my therapy group. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just join on a whim. <laughs> <laughs>